Welcome to In Pursuit of Beer. My name is John Ochin, and today we're talking about one of the most popular styles of beer in America, and that is the American Adjunct Lager. And as unfortunate as that is, this style of beer is not going away anytime soon. So how did it come about? It started back in Prohibition. All the beer companies, or most of them, went out of business, and those that remained had to do so illegally. So they started watering down their product and adding adjunct ingredients to keep their profit margins high. See, a lager, and, and any beer in general, some have varying degrees of ingredients, but a lager, as it's known in Germany and Czechoslovakia, the shortened term means to store. It takes a while to make a lager. And it's very simple ingredients. You have your malt, you have your hops, you have yeast, and you have water. And that's it. But when you're making an American adjunct lager, or you're back in Prohibition days, those ingredients are way too expensive. So you have to substitute. And in order to do that, you add corn and or rice and or any sort of other cereal grain that doesn't belong in beer to your product. And that does a couple things. Number one is it increases the alcohol content. Number two, it doesn't affect the flavor. It doesn't add any additional flavor. And number three, it reduces your cost. But it also causes the beer to be a little bit sweeter than it should be. So they add a little bit of hops, not much, just a very insignificant amount to balance everything out. And now you have the American adjunct lager. This beer came about in the 1950s when a guy figured out that this whole process and this, this is taking too long to make a lager. And so he figured out a way to add these adjunct ingredients and drastically shorten the time it takes to make a lager. And so therefore we can now produce more of this stuff faster and make more profit. But the expense is gonna be flavor and complexity. So there you go. So what are some of the beers that kind of fall into this category? Well, obviously the two in front of me, the Miller, the Coors, the Budweiser's, and even the favorite of beer pong players everywhere, the Pabst Blue Ribbon, and the most interesting man in the world, unfortunately, drinks an American adjunct lager. And you've got some pretty ridiculous advertising campaigns that make you think that one of these is different than the other. Like for example, here on the course, just letting me know when it's cold enough to drink, because why would you want to drink a beer, an inferior beer, when it's not at the proper temperature. So I've got the label there, tell me. I've got the wide mouth, vortex, whatever, you know, opening there. Now on this one I have, uh, I've got the little punch top, you know, that I can grab any sort of device, a key, a, a drumstick, according to the commercial. Open that up and I can get this beer in me faster. Because really, who wants to taste it? Not that there's any taste. So there you go. A little story, a little history lesson on the American adjunct lager and how it came about. And uh, I really hate to, uh, hate to do this to you, but the most interesting man in the world, when he drinks a beer, he's just like every other tool in the bar. <laughs>